team, but on this pistol, they want to pressure this A site. A wall already down and an opening as Kaznet falls. That new agent of Cypher not doing too much for him in this pistol. Nats is in a bit of trouble, but he bails out, and even after putting the wall down, Gambit are switching up the pace, oh. moving towards this B side. Oh, but Celtic is ready, taking down a double and holding strong in this connector position. He'll eventually fall and leave his team in a 2v3. Yeah, it's looking for the fight back now. Redgar's taken space on the site and he's left Nats to sort of lurk behind. That's what he does best, but it's something that will be expected. Dink initially hit, and he's looking to try and take down Naxxet, who is currently fighting against him. It's still awkward, though, because Redgar is trapped within this site, and if he Last goes down, round is over. Five yeah, down. with him down, this is looking really tough. Nats is up against a Sheriff that's one hit for him. He managed to wall bang him, <laughs> oh and then Nats steps out. It's made a risky decision going into this close corner, but they haven't checked it. That's a double, and indeed four <laughs> kills down. for Kesnit. That's a pretty dangerous what a big ult to have early on. <laughs> That's the hey! only thing. He's got himself an ace in round two. He's pushed all the way this through two. He's got a perfect flank and a weapon upgrade as well. So a huge start to this round already. Through, but the cam has given them away. Straight away, the rotation cuts starts coming through from CT. And well, it's not gone amazingly for Gam. In fact, they've lost a couple now. The trap wire is at least gone. But with that snake bite down, Redgar's in trouble. The headshot connected. He needed it. Still, though, is it going to be enough, Gambit? Making it to the site, the spike still needs to be planted with just 10 seconds left. A headshot connected. Nats on 2 HP. Both of these players are so low. Nags in with a potential clutch. A 1v1. Both players have the Vandal looking for the headshot. The spray is not good, but Nags will get a second chance. He's even spotted Redgar moving to the back of the site. He has a good idea where this player is. The recon going out to trade over the information. The peak, but Nags comes out on top. This man has struggled on the jet so far in this tournament but now I, i've said it before we've all said it the improvement of crew has been a wonder to behold this gambit the upping the pace my god this is a quick round they've got the weaker weapons and they're closing the distance defo already deleting keston and on the back side delzik will try his best to hold on but he's just overwhelmed crack gambit have got the site and crew have to fight back into a 2v4 yeah, this was a huge change of pace for what we normally see from Gambit. Nice start though from Nax, rounding the corner there was an opportunity, but now it has to be the clutch! He's already managed to carpool, couldn't quite land the headshot onto Shados. Moving into future rounds, but right now he's got a bigger problem. Shados is looking to get aggressive and push up into him, but Kesnet was ready, sitting inside that Viper or taking the kill and indeed the neural death will be deployed for the information. Nax has gotten aggressive to find Redgar and the spike. Yeah, they have to go back for this. And, and he's not left. I believe he might even still have his dash online, so he doesn't actually have to escape this until afterwards. And, okay, sure, Gambit managed to reclaim the spike, but it's 35 seconds, Mitch. They have got so much still to do. They know seconds. seeing Nags go that aggressive that he has a teammate covering his side. Oh, no, but they, they weren't expecting Mazzino to be right up in their face. A beautiful one for Mazzino as Chronicle falls. Crew bounce. And he wouldn't have time to place it deeper and run back, but... With it being destroyed, again, they're going to have to commit players towards that part of the map. Mazino's being taken down immediately. Recon not going to get them anything on this one. And Shados has a great... Oh! A Viper's pit inside of Hall to keep control. It also allows them to step back. He's not just dropped the ult and then sat in the corner trying to bait them into thinking that he's rotated with his team as the spike is planted. But now he's going to try this late round backstab. They seem to expect it, though. This is going to be a tough fight for Nats. He's not looking. Klaus has caught him. They expect the Lurker of Nats every single time at this point, and it's come back into, well, now a two versus one. Klaus, the man to take him out, has to try and get another couple more. Already in a pretty decent advantage in terms of the rounds, and actually a little bit of an early swing from Chronicle, but they... Well, and then they didn't have the screen to actually entry in. It could have made a fairly big difference, and now they're moving in to Nags, but this time he won't connect. Oh! What is that? He goes back! Repeaks and gets two! That is filth! You come to me! And, well, they do, with Kesnet falling over on the stairs. Klaus hasn't been detected. He's going to put up his drone. That's two players spotted. Good information, and Nags continues to frag. Three kills on the board, and this I have to say, for Crew to come out with confidence and pick, well, allow Breeze through, yeah, let's yeah, say. Yeah. They almost <laughs> chose it. Now, again, they're looking to try and pressure onto Chew. This man has no fear! Yes! Through the 
Poison Orb and right back out. That is all the Viper utility gone. They expect the push, but Shados has managed to get the trade. It doesn't last a particularly long. A Poison Orb down to 30 HP by the time he peeks in. Chronicle will catch Mazzino getting a little too curious, though. That's the numbers evened up, and Gambit have a... Oh, I was going to say a widespread of control, but now Shados is down, and this really splits them out. Both players on the other sides of the map. In fact, if you take a look, Nags has no idea that Redgar is creeping out onto the site. They were distracted by Chronicle's B attempt. And now Klaus is going to be left alone. Is trying to just bait someone into the peak. Not quite able to find the shots. And Redgar will close out the round. There's another corner. Chronicle coming back. Does he expect this? <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Because Nags is just that Vi Viper utility or anything like that can be countered out by Mazzino. In fact, he pops that ultimate right now. He's on 30 HP. So he can fight with his teammates. And if he goes down, they can pick him back up. But now he's isolated on the site. They look to fight in towards the spawn. But Nags is here. Blade Storm in hand. And he'll catch the third kill. Crew are looking for the stats from Nags, and this is this is the best start to a game we've seen from oh. him, period. <gasps> oh, that Hunter's That's Fury Viper's catches Delsic with the second. Viper's Pit down and out, exactly right. The Xeno of Close is probably the only hope here. He had a chance. He had an angle, but Chronicle there will take him down. Avoiding the Leer wasn't quite enough this time around, and the shot's really not connecting. It's an off round from Crew, and Gambit capitalized instantly with the plants on the site. It's a 4v2, but a lot of these players are low top. Is this just top of your game? Right. Doesn't even stop for a second. Maybe expecting them to all be on the site already, but Kesnit want to try and win that one out. He would have to ace. That, that's what we're looking at here, Mitch. At 5 and 17. 125 health. Headshot needed. If Nags wants to win this out, and he's got it. The ace now. Very possible. Less than 30 HP between the final two, but he has no information on where they are, and that's going to be the real crutch for him here. Clearing out all these angles just costs so much time, and there's a recon ready to reveal him on the back. He taps it again, waits for someone to peek on out, but they're rotating. The time's already gone. It's already done and dusted, and Shados confirms it with a well-placed shot. Four on line, then they'll activate it, give themselves the most time possible to make this play through mid. And an advanced trap wire. They've spotted it, they've destroyed it. The flash is good. Kesnitz under a lot of pressure on the fall back, and he still gets what? away with two! How does he manage to get multi-frags in these positions? It doesn't matter though, Chronicle has instantly found a response. Klaus, still fighting though, and he's oh, nice. got the Hunter's Fury. It's the last round, he might as well try and pop it, but gets absolutely nothing from it. Chronicle, he now needs to come up with an ace. Both players coming from the spawn, and he hasn't managed to connect. It is an eight to four half on a map. We have, you can see they oh, saved fast. it up. Here it we go, a fast push coming out of crew. Gambit have managed to get Chronicle behind enemy lines. There's no one even paying attention to him. He gets a kill and is still left alone. Three for him in this round. And a pistol round that Gambit very much needed will go in their favor. Unless Kesnitz got something incredible. Oh, oh no. no. What is going on? 18 HP left, a 1v2. and He's now brought it down to just two, Mitch. This is incredible. And they're not even watching him as he comes up. Nats is turning to see it, and another no. headshot delivered. No. One shot is all that's needed for Chronicle. A 4K for him, an ace for Kesnit. The camera not going to spot him just yet. He knew, knows exactly where he was, but Chronicle will fall back, moving to the back of the side, catching the off angle. Risk. Well, there you go. Chronicle knows, but what could he do about it? But he's going to peek in. All right. He's just take it off the head of Delzig. Yeah, good info on the knife from Mazzino. Utility to the back side. Anybody that was there was in a lot of trouble. But they still managed to find the one as they cross over. It's the opening that Gambit wanted with the Vandal. Oh, with Klaus going down, this now becomes uh -oh. very dicey. Remember, this is the buy round for Crew. This is one where Gambit come in with a bonus. They shouldn't be walking away with a win, but we saw Crew do it in the first half. We might just see the return from Gambit, the flash, it's gonna catch... Oh, it's not gonna catch Kesnit! He's free to take the fights up close! Oh, the spray is good for damage, but not for kills! Gambit, overrun the site, find their free upgrades, and get a seventh round now! Well on that attack. Already though, Shados, we know he has to be aggressive oh, wow. here, and he almost baited in Kesnit. Behind that box until he gets the go-ahead, until he feels the moment, but Ooh, never mind, Defo is just taking him down with Nags out of the equation. It's a five versus three, and that also opens up the room for Redgar to take those peaks. He's in such a good spot to pounce oh. as soon as they find Delzik, and that flash has revealed him. Redgar's going to start working on it, but the round's almost over already. With Mazzino left to clutch it out, it will not happen. And Gambit have come back and retake ten on the board. This cannot feel good for Crew. 
No timeout called into this one. They're going to just run in straight for the Big duels. Shot. And Nags continues with the confidence taking down Redgar. Cube control completely out of Gambit's hand. And the response is to go aggressive with Defo into cave and find the opening return for V4, but obviously on a map as big as this, crew are going to be happy enough <laughs> Chronicle! with that. Sadly, <laughs> they ran straight what? into Chronicle, who keeps on fragging. One off your Hunter's Fury. It's just Not there's really, there's no. no reason for them to go aggressive at this point. Other than now, the round is already over. They want to try and remove some of this weaponry. I, I, I'm i very surprised to play against the best of the best, and they'll leave nothing on the field. And Nags is doing exactly that. It's managed to spot out Nats as well. This is starting to get pretty dangerous. There's a lot of information currently there. Is Nats actually going to do this? He looks like he's about to try and make a play around the edge, and they use the Hunter's Fury to push them out of position. This is beautiful in the retake so far, but it still comes back to a two versus two. Oh, what? the shot out of Defo! Kesnitz caught, and Messino has oh to do it God. all! Defo keeps on fragging for 12! Gambit! And instead their attack was the strongest half, because that's all we get to see from them when they're 13th row to crew. But they haven't been able to do anything here, and now again, the opening duel goes to Gambit. Mazzino falls, the fast push out at the Latin Americans okay. does actually pay off. Delzik saving the day. The Vipers pit now online will guarantee them a strong post plant. Yeah, it's put them in a spot. No ultimates as well on the other side to try and clear this out. And Nags again. Chronicle is gone. I believe there was the ping coming out from Klaus just to give that extra little bit of information. Defo trying to close the gap and might be able to try and isolate one of these players. It's going to be Klaus on the other side and the shot is connected. The sneaky push through catches him though. A big round from Delzig oh. and it's left into the one versus one. It's a perfect place. Piece of utility out from Redgar. Can he get this final kill? Yes, he can. It is going to be that clutch out. It is going to be the first map going the way of Gambit. Nine rounds in a row for the master. Well, as we come into this one, map number two, crew down by one, but this is their pick and it started out well. Be a completely different story altogether as they're gonna look to try and pressure him. He's still in the same spot, but they haven't actually spotted him. Finally, will be cleared out. And in fact, so will the majority of the team. Chronicle had a fantastic first map, but good luck, bud. Yeah, uh, it's gonna have to be the 1v4 and he's already been spotted on his way through heaven. I'll be ready to face him together. Nags down below, waiting for contact to one of his teammates, and they'll just triple peek into this. A little shock dart to push him back. I mean, look, you got low HP on some of these players, but it's going to be hard to find that value. Going to connect those headshots almost instantly. It will not happen this time around. Crew is going to be one of the first players around the corners taking these duels. Got inside the smoke just to confirm there's no one up close. Yeah, oh, okay, Shados is still, Ooh. and he'll still get away with two walking through the cloudburst. He's even starting to creep up towards them in the alleyway and on backside. Chronicle wasn't spotted. A flawless at their camera there. And the Hunter's Fury finding nothing. In goes Redgar, and down he goes right away. Kesnit with another opening duel, and it looks like crew are having a pretty easy time over this A site. I don't know that Defo can really do anything from here. Maybe a spam through those. The fact is, though. The afterplant positions are looking strong from Crew. There is a lot of work for Gambit still to do. They know there's a player close. The flash connected. Good return. Defo on a triple. And sure, Shados will fall to the Nano Swarm. But they know where Mazzino is now. Oh, but he connects oh! them both. The spray down is clean. The Red Bull can afford to almost burn a bit of it in the early stages of the round. The problem now, though, is that lockdown. It's going to hold them back at least for a moment. Look, a red guy. He's tried to push through. They were ready for it. They don't actually manage to get the opener either. And the remaining players haven't actually moved. They're, in fact, all within the site, just waiting for the push to come in. Still, though, the entry Spike goes down. the way of game. They will know that there's players already within the site. The spike being planted. Well, it doubles down on what they were thinking. And now they're waiting for the rotation of Nats to come back through. It's going to be a really tough one. Yeah, crew have just got all the nooks and crannies occupied. As Gambit looked to drop on out of heaven, they'll be in a lot of trouble. With the time ticking away, they need to make a move. They need to start covering off these positions. The camera spots one down below, doesn't grab the tag. Kaznet getting aggressive, dismissing after another connection by Mazzino. And it's all left to Chronicle. 16 health and a dream, and it turns to a nightmare quickly. Four. This team's blindly run into map control and end up getting overwhelmed. But time and time again, crew are leaving at most one uh -oh. player. But actually, hold on, mazino has got the spike. That I shouldn't have said anything. Was perfect. They've got damage. They've got utility to try and pull them out of position. 
Dream, which will work out and at least make this one look possible. But with Shados taken off the head of Delzik, both remaining left. players so desperately low, surely there's no way Crew bring this back. Klaus does it. Don't think we're getting away with much here, and then nor does he, as he backs off to save this rifle. Ten seconds uh, left. Looks like if he keeps going, he'll get away with it, but he's about to take a face into Redgar, who now has a nice free upgrade for him down there on the floor. Yeah, goes back onto this guy. Incredible stuff, and he's going to win the duel versus Kesnit. This aggression that was so successful in some of the early rounds from the Reyna has ended up being a little bit of a burden, unable to find anything, but Kavs will respond. Bring it back into a... Spotted him indeed. This is going to be tough for him to even get out of here. He's getting aggressive. He's uh -oh. trying to take the duels, but he'll be caught on the retreat. With that opening, they're going to pick up the pace, run in towards the side, and if Defo doesn't have something huge to show, there's a first, but that's all he'll get. Crew with the advantage, and their post plans have been strong thus far. Yeah, they have the ultimates for it as well. But a Hunter's Fury could be enough to end him. But there needs to be something, and fast from the side of Gambit as they look to try and encroach on the space. Of and it's being watched for now as well, so he's going to be in a lot of trouble. He dies the spike anyways. Well, that's from Chronicle. Let's go, baby. Early spams. Deep Recon actually that's, gets That's why I care about the Opera Yeah, all right. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. It is what it is. That's to come out of that corner and catch another. They were trying to punish the Operator, but they weren't expecting him to have a bodyguard. And with the shutters already closed, they are watching this. They, they are ready to stand on the other side of a wall from Chronicle with an Odin, get revealed and walk away to tell the tale, but it's only a matter of time and eventually he'll be taken <laughs> down. That Odin coming up big in this round. I have to say though, this is... Oh, 30 seconds okay, let, Let's give Mazzino a moment. 30 seconds, 1 versus 4, 70 no HP, and 2 kills to his name. He's on at the moment. He just came back. That's going to give them the Odin wall buying ability. And with 70 HP, that is actually very, very dangerous. Typically, that recon is going to go towards lower, and they've even spotted him now. They know exactly where he is, and they're just dropping, finishing him off after the flash. Well played by Gambit on the retake, sticking together. His utility, that kill there as well. Y'all really going to push into this? Up against an Odin Hunter's Fury active, trying to hunt him down, but he's actually swapped position. Chronicle playing over towards Market, and Defo's the uh -oh. one on site. He's in a lot of trouble, though. Getting out of here is practically impossible. He still comes out with another kill, eliminating Delzik, taking the smokes out of the equation, and the retake. Chronicle has got his drone, he's got an Odin, and a Hunter's Fury to play with. He's being covered up close by Nats, who spotted an exit. The lockdown, that's going to be a little bit of a thorn in the side. What's even worse than that is the player inside of main, catching them off guard in the side he angle. Redgar Red went Go. down to Chronicles Hunter's Fury, and now it's a 1v2. This is a disaster for Gambit. A clutch needed from Nats and time is not really on his side. Those players safely behind some cover so they can't be wall banged down and they know exactly where he is, Tom. It's going to be so hard to get away with this one and a well played shot from that. It, it seems they managed to clear that fairly early on and crew now with six already on the board and this time they shut Defo. It's going to be a little bit more difficult. Gambit are expecting the A hit. Look at where Nats is. This is not a great position. Sometimes your shoulder gets spotted. That's why he goes out a little bit wider. Ready? For this smoke to fade, and the shot connected by Kesnan instantly. They don't spot anybody else! Oh, I thought Redgar was lining them up for the spray down, but Kesnan does such a good job stopping it from going too far and leaving Gambit into a 2v4. Well, Chronicle up close is a little bit of cover. They're going to be focused on Shados, and that's one of the worst ways to die. It's sprayed in close range. Spot on. There are st oh, oh, I'd say that. They start hesitating a little bit. Push coming through. Nax looking to try and find the opener, but he gets caught by Redgar pushing. Now, he didn't have one of the major weapons, so this risk is worth it. Nax, he just got straight through, managing to find a couple, but the trades are good. Leaving it down to just one man, and it is closed out for Gambit. It will be a 7-5 on the utility. Now, there will still be the turret there, but in fact, Chronicle. I mean, it hasn't oh, okay, it's turned around. Hello. All good. They've seen him. He's going to be tagged on the way back, and Nags now stuck in the corner. No dash to play with shock darts coming in. He is 30 HP right now, just dodging blind fire through smokes. Delzik tries to come in and help and catch them off guard, but they'd already switched direction. Fallen back and held short. Left now into a 5v1. Here we go Nags again. eventually meeting his demise. 1v5, round two. We saw this in the second oh, no. pistol last time. Kester this time. I feel like the agent he has might actually help him out a little bit more. No longer on the cypher. Now they're all going to be watching for this. He needs some pretty incredible shots and already tagged desperately low. Of course, a single kill would benefit him at least a little bit, but chances oh. slim. That is gross. He's even going to get the heal off of it. Nobody peeking in an attempt for the trade. They want to keep this crossfire going at this time. Push B and die to Redgar again. I'm going to be 
pretty upset. That's a grown kind of fight. <laughs> uh, it's not really what you want to be facing in a round like this, but it's damn good at breaking walls, so they've got to cross over against it. Delzik's here to help, and they are doing the damage and completely shutting down Gambit's attack. The spike on the floor, Mazzino just keeps on going with that big gun in hand. He's down to 7 HP, but I don't think he's going to get punished. Redguard the last alive, Bulldog in hand, and well... He meets the old missiles, <laughs> and the fact is, the defenders haven't just been sitting there. They've also claimed some control! That's a lot of Astra Stars yeah. waiting for them on A. They've got two stars. Now they're going to clear this position, but not properly. 20 seconds left. He's going to look to try and play oh. within the smoke, and Delzig shuts down two with the headshots. There is nothing that can be done here for Shados. He's going to go up above, and they're going to spam out the wall almost instantly. Mazzino again. Oh, they know Delzig is there. They know he's hiding in the smoke, and almost try and bait it out. Redgar should have this timing on point clearing him is going to be so important in fact he's pushing back in oh. and he's still managing to get kills the timing eventually works in his favor and it's traded out into the one versus one a chance here and the plan is not in the best of spots next it's going to close out the round you said he was a little bit quieter in this map but when they needed him the most things a little bit vulnerable but bypassing through into this B site is going to be very difficult, especially again with Mazzino just popping. Four kills already. Redgar left as the late lurk coming through B. Mazzino, he wants this ace. He wants to close this out single handedly. And as he runs through, he can't quite get it. Can't oh. understand what they're saying, but <laughs> I guess Gambit can't die. Right now, they have mid. Yeah, and even then, it's contested quite heavily. Kesnit gonna just dismiss out of there, a little jump to make sure he catches it. Rez coming through, does Kesnit want to get aggressive on this? Yes, he does! And he's not quite gonna catch them, but he's slowing them down. He's harassing them in the back lines. 20 seconds left as they make their way forward. Up goes Nags, no knives connecting. Klaus, though, going huge. The Nano keeping them back, and this is already done! Crew, walk out! Defo, the space made. The rest of the team soon to follow. There's the flash, but Klaus, blinded up, gets away with a double! He goes for more, but Chronicle puts a stop to that. Gambit showing up at least. A moment out. Oh, no, he is not. Okay, he did get shot, but the Boombot was about to take him down into a two versus two. Low HP on both players from Gambit. The right clicks. That was a wallbang headshot. Chronicle only barely survives. And oh, Shados doing the best he can, but he won't get away with it in the end. Crew open up a third map with a pistol win. Is his crew move back to the site now? They're kind of trapped in a little bit, and Gambit used those numbers and the weapons, the armor that they've got to take these fights. Opening it up well on the Klaus, the Stinger not quite landing, but there's plenty more players here. Mazzino does well to find the first, but Gambit answer back quickly and swiftly put the advantage into their favor. Kesnet is still on the site, though. That spike not yet planted puts Gambit in an awkward spot. They have no idea that he is here. The pressure by Delzik in towards the elbow might be a little bit dangerous. He doesn't know there's a player on the right, but he still checks it. Oh! Left sprays right away. Huge from Delzik, leaving Chronicle still inside of Hookah all alone. He at least has the information now, but they have the numbers. Oh, the blast back actually pushes him off a little bit, and then Kesnit is there because for... Nags getting out of this position now is going to be very difficult. Now, if he manages to get a couple of kills, going down is not going to be too much of a problem, but he's getting hit by shock darts and Defo will clear him almost instantly. Kesnip trying his best to respond and does still have the paint shells, but will be forced at least to fade away. Again, though, Mitch, the time. That's up close with that Sheriff has caught Delzik. Maintaining the control, but as he peeks out, they actually lose two with Kesnip going down. Things are in threat, but... Doesn't, oh, he, the, the Seeker used here to find Redgar? Ooh. Sure, they'll take him down, but we made an excuse for the previous round, which is very valuable. that they have, locking down mid already. Now, information is going to be garnered on the other side, and actually, Defo's going to go pushing Ooh. in. Masino, though, it's incredible. For Gamma to lose a player, lose a rifle as well, it's down in the open. They don't suspect there's a player up close because he would have picked the rifle, surely. But no, Del, yep. 15 seconds, there's, there's no way back in. This is a bonus round from Crew. I, in round four. Yeah, well, I, after losing four players in the previous. I, and they're going to hunt them down because they want the rifles. They're hungry. How They, they don't want to play the next round with the likes of Sheriffs, Spectres, and Guard. Look at the rotation already coming. Kesnit looking to try and bolster up this defense. They have utility to try and pull them back. But what is that from Naz? He just completely eliminates Klaus Mazzino in the corner. Will eventually be cleared. Still, though, there's a multitude of players on this site. Oh, he was ready for the peak up top. 
does well to at least eliminate Shados. Max in with one before he falls. It's all left on to Delzik. He's fighting inside the... I don't think he's going to be able to get this one. Not with two players still alive. Not with the angles they have. He does his damn best. He's being conscious of every flank potential, but ultimately with no information on Redgar, he just couldn't do anything. Mm. Little strike ready in Delzik's hand. We said 30 seconds left as they move oh, in towards the site. They've got to take him down. There's the orbital strike. Delzik just about manages to get it down. Delays a little more time. Showstopper comes out as well. Gambit are scared to go for the plant. They're scared to go near the site. Kesnet eventually firing in. He'll find nothing. It lands just outside the door, leaving Defo alive on this off angle, but the spike still hasn't been planted, and they are running low on time. Nats doing his best to buy them the space, but eventually he has to just stick it, and with his teammate down, they just need to rush him. Perfectly handled by Crew. It is fun. But economically, and if that gets Crew 6, that's oh. more than worthwhile. Chronicle position, but there's counter utility there. Great snake bite. There's no way you can push through that. The invisible gun coming out. Delzik. Able to take Nats and well, with no more Utah left, it's all about those raw angels, but the time is against them. There's more than enough players of crew to just keep those trades going. Defo needs to go nuclear and he will get nothing done. Six to one for crew. What a performance by crew. Surprising everyone, but with Nats getting aggressive. That's the first time I think we've seen crew push anything and they get punished. Like a lot of what Gambit are doing, but ultimately you know, they're not delivering when it comes to a lot of these duels. Oh no, Delzik actually got caught by that Seeker. Now he can't see, but as his vision returns, Shados rounds the corner. The trade quick. With that Viper's Pit down, this gets a lot easier. Redgar's being caught, a spam through the box to eliminate him, but Nats wants to take the fight behind enemy lines. The problem is they can't plant the spike with him here, but it doesn't matter if they take the whole team down. Running in towards the TP, Nats soon to follow. Picks up his orb and he's away. Okay, there's the information for Kesnet and Tom. If he gets one kill, Showstopper's online. Yeah, he's playing for the moment. Chronicle 32. actually looks like he wants to try and go for the peak. Timing's going to be absolutely everything here. And as you said, the kill could bring him up to the Showstopper. That pace changing. Actually, we've got to push all the way through the Viper's pit. Yeah. Straight through from Nats. He's looking to try and take the fight. He wins it. Opening jewels coming left, right, and center for Gambit. A huge start in this round. It was looking like this was all crew with everything they had. Maybe not. Good call by Chronicle there. He play with a sort of plan that works out perfectly. And that's more of what I want to see from Gambit. The stat that came in early in the tournament. I don't know how much it has carried oh through. God. That's a big Hunter's oh! Fury, but okay. Kesnick gets two kills with two different pieces of his utility. Already down to just a couple of players remaining. Ultimate's not going to play a part at all at this stage for Gambit. They're just trying Second to fall eight. away. But Kesnick comes back for more. Three kills already. They're even going to get the res. And Redgar needs the best clutch of the tournament. I had to give a round of applause for that one because that was incredible. The slow into the nade on mid. The second nade that was... The full on retake. I believe they've also put a wall down just to close things out. It's going to make things incredibly difficult because you don't really have anything to break that with. Yeah, it's, it's tough in a round like this. But at least you can knife oh, it no. up. Oh, oh Shados is down. Snake bite nade. And they walk away with the kill. The knife given away that there's a player up close. In fact, there's two as Gambit look to get back into the site. But Crew are already ahead. The dash out buys them a little bit of space. But they get no kills on the back of it. Crew are shutting them down. Back to... Deficit when they attempt to fight this back. It's going to have to be one of the most impressive comebacks we've ever seen. Solid start, though, with the kill onto Klaus. We'll see how much more they can get. Yeah, the problem is some of these weapons here, they're really not strong. You're talking two sheriffs. You got a Nats playing with a shorty inside of Hookah. Look at Nags. He's got him. He's cut him off. He's seen them. But they might just try to pressure him in now. Good call to put the wall down. Nats can't do anything. There's no way out what he's working with. Kesnet's fallen and things do get dangerous, uh -oh. especially with the one-to-one -one trades. Together, but it has given some extra positioning to Delzik, wanting to try and use that Molotov nice. to hold them back that little bit further. Mazzino in a good position as well. They've had to try and bypass this one, looking to one shut them down. It's left on to Mazzino. The time is ticking through, but he'll win it anyway. Watching. Yeah, I like the fact that you have that spray from afar. That's what sells it. The fact that outside, but Gambit aren't going to move just yet. They're sticking with a strong B defense, conscious that there could be a rotate. They could take the TP at any moment. <gasps> that spray so good for Defo through the smoke. Mazzino steps up to try and get this done. A good flash by Shados, though. Puts an end to that plan. And it's all on the Delzik. He won't get much done. The first, at least. But 15 seconds left. Through a snake bite, he runs. He can't. No time left. And he makes the call to go and save.
Yeah, just trying to hold on to the weapon. It is the round that we were looking for from Gambit. Aggressive start, nice little bait and switch, and then catching out players on the other side later. Already, though, we're seeing ultimates pop in. Dowsing, even while stuck in the suck, is going to get a kill onto Redgar. Trades coming back thick and fast from Chronicle, though. I'm out of stuff. Looks of it, he would. They're going to start moving on the back of the flash. Showstopper goes through. Blast pack as well. Nobody's seen just yet. And he'll be shot in the side! Chronicle! Going huge in this round. He's found four. And really saved Gambit's behind. He won't find any more than that. But the 1v2 is looking unlikely. Mazzino walks right into the op to close it out. 10 to 8. A B hit now. Getting a little bit worried for them. There's the Hunter's Fury. The Orbital Strike return. Shados gets out. Ooh, yes. The thing is, though, it has bought time. They were expecting to make their burst onto the site. Instead, it's a flash straight through. Nance has managed to find the couple, but the trades are in thick and fast. This is the best opportunity for Crew so far, and they instantly put down the Viper's Pit. They look to lock out these players from behind the spike going in as well for the spawn. It makes it so difficult for this retake. Redgar, though, Cosmic Divide trying to make some space. Yeah, they still have to deal with the Viper up close, though. There is a judge on the floor. Potential to pick that up and look for those duels, but it's just a drop in. There's the first, but Redgar's caught on the way out. Crew, get off the starting point at last. And then they're going to look to almost rotate away the remaining players. A quick tip to save Volk. He's, oh my god! This is dangerous, and you can see that they're very scared of that operator. Why wouldn't you be? Chronicle playing behind the smoke, and there's the opening. As they come around the corner, they're not oh, expecting what to is still that? be aggressive. And he's got what? to get all five. An ace for Chronicle. No, the round safe. Round. This is heartbreaking, man. Crew got the opening and everything. And now the early aggression goes Chronicle's way. But in one for one trades, Kesden chasing oh. them into their spawn. And it's going to catch Shados. What is that? And they still have a lot of post plant utility to go. It's just going to be stuck it's within it. Oh it's, it's not actually being tagged by the Molotov. It's He's just going to hold it all the way. But Kesden. It comes up huge, and so does Delzik. It is going to be a thrifty win. And on the other side, there's some pretty crucial ones. Nats just playing on the edge of this Viper utility. They've got to be so careful to make sure that they clear this extra spot. He's hiding within their own smoke, and already two are going to go down. Nats goes huge as well in response. He's looking for an ace of his own, leaving just one man standing, and he wants to try and fight for it. Shados will steal it away. Make a butt. They're still looking to try and fight for this. They're watching for Defo, but they have the trades. Chronicle is going to give them a two-man advantage, and there needs to be a response from Crew. Oh, an attempt by Klaus, at least there is the first three versus four. Gambit locked in towards bathroom and being pressured from both sides. This is a little scary. Nags already able to pick up the opening and now they'll come in on the other side. But Defo, look at Shados. He's holding for it. He's conscious of this play and now he's got the spike as well. Gambit looking to take us all the way to overtime unless Klaus can do something. And no. Self the Seekers. One mistake, one misstep here can cost you it all, and Klaus in danger. The operator scoped in on him, and he goes a little too wide. Left this B site fairly vulnerable, but by the looks of it, at least for now, the gamble's correct. Nats, though, takes the space, and they're going to TP. They're going to take that rotation in towards the B site. Nags, he's going to have to go huge here, Mitch. I like what Nats did. He waited inside the teleporter, waited for his teammates, pushed out. Now they can three-man take the site. Nags on the back. Hasn't been spotted. The spray is good for Nats. The spike delayed a little longer. 15 seconds on the clock. They need to get this planted, but they've got the manpower to cover the angles. Nags is pressured on the back side. Chronicle taking a big risk, oh. pushing forward. Guessed it. Manages to find two. The spike being planted. Nade in. It has oh, to be tanked. So and Chronicle maintains 16 HP. He's alive on the site, but only barely. And Kesnitz gonna deal with him down to the 1v1. Showstopper fired, but it won't land. He's Doesn't find bullet. the target this time around. And Defo scoped in with the operator. No dash online. And there oh. he goes. Three kills for Defo. Small decisions that end up being the difference maker. And it looks like Crew wanna up the pace. My god, we haven't seen him go this quickly in quite a while. And Nats attempting to punish on the back of the flash. That timer turns from a friend to a foe. 
They have to move. The flash is fantastic. It clears out Hookah entirely, but Nat's not alive. There's a lot less pressure on the moving through. There's the opening! Red Guard with two, with three! Oh my god, Gambit might take it across the line! It's a 2v2! Crew, wall off the spawn, slow down. That buys them time to plant. They'll be able to set themselves up for post plans. Klaus still with a snake bite to play with, but they are not going passive. They are staying up in their opponent's face. And this is a good setup. When Klaus takes contact, Nags will be able to jump on top and try for the assist. They're walking out, and it looks like they've done it! Klaus finishes! Key to try and keep those A players in position. Stops the rotation from coming through. Crew, stay aggressive and try to fight. Not by that much. There's the smokes, there's the flash, and now out they come. Ooh. Esnet has gotten himself into a good position. And look at that crossfire! Oh, that's so nicely played by Crew! Down to the 2v1! The IGL of Redgar has it all to do, and it's almost impossible to even plant at this point as he looks to sneak in towards the spawn. He has to be careful. The angle held from inside of Hookah. He'll smoke it. He'll move in through. Oh, and he'll take Delzik down, even going oh, for the next oh, one. No! Oh. Klaus saves the round. And it's the same setup we saw before. Defo looking to take switch. the opening. He'll find a shot. No kill. The but no then Judge comes in. Redgar's good for two. Defo in with another, but he'll fall. The snake bite gonna slow them down a little bit. Klaus is too low. If he goes into a fight now, he might just fall, and Delzik's nowhere nearby to trade. A decision has to be made here and now. Where do they go? And the plants faked out the spray coming through, but Nats won't find anything with it. Still, eventually they need to move. Ooh. What a shot by Delzik! With Shade off down, he's all alone, and Nats will double up to bring us. So make things a little bit more awkward as he tries to sneak through. Is he going to be able to catch one out? No! A reaction shot from Clark. Are fast pushing the A site, but the problem is, crew are still he here. Molly. They haven't moved, and the Molly's going to slow them completely. Delzik even takes a kill, and they cannot trade. That Molly is buying them all the time in the world. And with the classic, Ooh. Delzik finishes off the formation available for the side of Gambit. And there's a vulnerable site. Nice nade, this forces Nats to play inside the site, but Shados has that covering fire from the side! Nats showing up and eliminating the hookah push! Crew run headfirst into a brick wall! The spike is down on the site, and Gambit have full control, full rotations, all of their bases are covered! They need a miracle on the side of Crew to get away with this, and Delzik sneaking out of Hook on 1 HP won't be it. We are going to another overtime. And better pushing out to this site quickly, trying to push the pace and catch their opponents off guard, and that's exactly oh. what happens! A triple to open it up! Defo keeps on going! A triple of his what? own, in fact, a blade storm popped in the right click. Is gonna look to close this out. Mazzino walking headfirst into it, but Red Crew on their way in towards this site. Defo's being pushed off. He's able to dash away to safety, and Chronicle's still here, waiting for them to walk through, but he whiffs at the worst possible oh, no. moment. So too does Defo. Crew are back in the game. They've shown up here, and now the snake bites trying to slow them and push them out of position. 12 seconds left on the clock. They need to plant the spike One now. They're getting it down, and it looks like they've got the round <laughs> uh -oh. in the bag. The it's got to be said, Gambit had a lot of success with the fast play earlier, but I don't expect Crew to be as caught off guard, and already you see them put out their utility early. They're changing their pace, they're adapting, but they're not winning the duels, and ultimately that's the only metric we give a damn about right now. Oh. Klaus able to get in for two. Player that's a lifeline for Crew. But the rest of them fall like dominoes. Mazzino has to clutch it, and he will not to try and make that final spot. All they need to do is pull out a solid defense, and we've seen it from them time and time again. Same aggressive Nebula, just to try and give them the false info that somebody has pushed up. That is not the case. Kesnet, though, is almost just running its way through. Already dead, <gasps> but the trade comes through. Revealing Back game. into a 3v3 scenario. Kronos have pushed now. Took He's gonna hear them. They're going to walk right past him. Already, the players are starting to rotate, and it's all on Chronicle. He'll be checked, but he still gets the first. That's it, though. Great trade back by Delzik as they look for the site. That'll be Nags getting his res online if they can get this spike down. The Molly, but they've already pushed through. Oh, he's on the back site. They won't expect him already. Nats able to take one, and he'll take the second.